Welcome to Math with Professor V. Here's your latest integral of the day. Thought it was time we did a definite integral again. So we have the integral from 0 to 1 of x times the square root of 2 minus the square root of 1 minus x squared dx. So I really liked this one because it looks more intimidating than it actually turns out to be. If you want to pause the video and give it a try on your own, I'll give you one little baby hint. You just need to use u substitution, nothing fancier. I did it with two different rounds of u substitution. Um, if you did it a different way, let me know in the comments down below. That'd be fun to see the different approaches everybody took. There should be several ways to do this integral. Okay, so I decided to go in with the innermost composition of functions and let u equal the square root of 1 minus x squared. And then to find du, I never like to do it right away when I have, you know, some radical function like that. I like to square both sides first. So u squared is 1 minus x squared. And then now I differentiate both sides. So then 2u du would equal, right, derivative of 1 is 0. This is negative 2x dx. And then I can just cancel out the 2 on both sides. And let me move the negative over to the other side. So we have negative u du equals x dx. Then everything matches up perfectly, right? You see how here's the x dx? Love it. Okay, and then let's change our limits of integration because currently these limits, 0 and 1, belong to x. So I need the new limits in terms of u. So u of 0, the lower limit, I'm just going to substitute in 0 for x. So it's 1 minus 0 squared. That's 1. And then u of 1, the upper limit, that's going to be 1 minus 1 squared, 0. So they basically just switch. So we can write our integral now in terms of u. We're going to have 1 to 0. And then remember, x dx gets replaced with negative u du. So I'm going to put the minus sign outside. And then here's my du. And I need a u. And then I still have radical 2 minus, and then all of this, this rad 1 minus x squared, that's just u, remember? Boom. Okay, how was that? Not too bad, not too bad. Things are looking cleaner already, aren't they? Now, can we take the antiderivative just yet? No. Um, and this kind of integral, you should have seen maybe a few times when you're first learning u substitution in Calc 1, where basically you just want to switch the expressions. Outside the radical, we'd rather have 2 minus the variable, and underneath the radical, we'd rather have the variable by itself. So I'm going to go in, make one more substitution. And you know what? Will you allow me to just switch the limits and make it positive now so we don't have that ugly negative sign sticking outside? Oh, thank you. So I'm going to do one more substitution. We already used up U, so pick another letter. How do we all feel about T? Good? So let's let T equal, and this time I'm going to let T be everything underneath the radical, 2 minus U. And then we can go ahead and differentiate both sides. So DT is negative DU. Good? So negative DT is DU. And then what do we do with this little lonesome U out here? Well, you're going to come back to this original substitution and solve for u. So if I were to get u by itself, u would equal 2 minus t. So that's what I'm going to substitute it with. And then I have rad t. du is negative dt. I'm going to put the minus sign outside. And then the only thing I still need to do is switch the limits. So 0 and 1 belong to u. t of 0 would be 2 minus 0, so 2. And then t of 1, 2 minus 1, so 1. Boom. Good? Bad? So-so? <laughs> it's Monday morning. I think we're all hanging in there. Okay. Then let's, again, flip the limits of integration, make it positive. 1 to 2, 2 minus t. And then I'm going to rewrite this rad t as t to the 1 half. Okay? dt. So now I'm super excited. I can distribute the t to the 1 half through to the 2 minus t more easily. So we have integral 1 to 2, 2t two to the 1 half minus t to the 3 halves. 
I'm adding exponents when I distribute. And then we're ready to roll. We can take the antiderivative. So you add one to the exponent, divide by the new exponent. So if I add one, it'll be t to the 3 halves. Dividing by 3 halves is the same as multiplying by 2 thirds. Minus, and then over here we're going to have t to the 5 halves, very good, with a 2 fifths out front. No plus c from 1 to 2. Keep your wits about you. Okay, now let's substitute in these limits of integration. So we're going to have 4 thirds, 2 to the 3 halves, minus 2 fifths, 2 to the 5 halves, minus, and then if I plug in 1, that's just 4 thirds, minus 2 fifths. Okay, good. So this is going to be 4 thirds times 2 to the 3 halves. If you need a little refresher, that's the square root of 2 cubed. So it would be 2 rad 2 minus 2 fifths times. Now 2 to the 5 halves is square root of 2 raised to the 4th times another square root of 2. So then I'm going to have 4 rad 2 minus, and then let's just get a common denominator over here. So this is going to be what? 20 minus 6 over 15. Okay, beautiful. So here we have 8 rad 2 over 3 minus 8 rad 2 over 5 minus 14 over 15. And it looks like everybody LCD is still 15. So let's go ahead I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 5 here, by 3 here, and then we should be good to go. So this will be 40 rad 2 minus 24 rad 2 minus 14 over 15. And then we can combine our like radicals. Oh yes, keep it going. So this is going to be 16 rad 2 minus 14 over 15. If it's been a minute since you worked with radicals in algebra class, maybe that, that was a rough ending for you. I hope not, but if it was, you guys, guess what? I have video lectures reviewing radicals for algebra students, so you should go watch those. Anyways, that concludes the integral of the day. How did you like it? I told you, it wasn't too crazy. It looked scarier. You probably could do a variety of other substitutions. You know, you don't have to exactly do the two that I chose. Maybe you could get away with just one. So play around with it. Let me know how you chose to solve it. And also hit that thumbs up button. Give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want more videos on Calc 1, 2, 3, or if you need to review other topics as well, I have full video lectures on every single section in those courses. They're just organized into playlists. And then please also follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Math with Professor V. I love you guys, and I'll be back sooner than later. Bye.